So the other day we went to the farmer's market and we had uh, supported a small business called Wolfie Handmade Dog Treats. So we bought a ton of treats. And um, now we are at Bob's House for Dogs and we're gonna give them the treats. So kind of paying it forward. We bought them out of pretty much everything that they had. And then we're like, okay, what are we doing for dog tre treats? Cause I don't have a dog. <laughs> and, and so I'm like, well, let's find, a, let's find a rescue or something that we can do. And so we just wanna give them to you guys and maybe meet the, the pups so if yes. we can and learn a little bit more about you guys. Perfect, so. yeah, we've got about, uh, I think, 15 pups right now um, or so. Um, they all come from different walks of life. Um, some have uh, pretty sad stories. Some have some not so sad stories. Um, they come from people that actually love them um, but have moved on from us. And so, you know, they ended up in a shelter situation and they, you know, lived their whole life with a loved one and they just didn't do well in that shelter situation, so they come to us. So just to continue out their love and, and you know, try to hopefully find their second chapter in their life. Absolutely. So, so uh, yeah, maybe, maybe well, yeah. we can give them a treat too later. Come on in, yeah. we'll give treats. Yeah. And I've been early this morning, so everybody will be ready for their roughly noonish snack. <laughs> roughly, <laughs> roughly. I get it. This is Buster. Hi, Buster. Um, and then we have Miss Pearl over there, the little white fluffy. Pearl! Pearl's like, what do you got that phone for? What are you doing? Do? Do? She's not sure about that. And we have Molly Mae and Missy, our two pugs that came in together. This sissy, she was actually found along the roadside as a stray, um, mm -hmm. too weak to walk um, in a ditch. So somebody, a good Samaritan, had found her and turned her in. Just some pieces here, or anything? Yeah. Okay.